everyone, welcome back and my name is Nina and welcome to Doggy Basics and in today's video I'll be teaching, um, uh, I'll be telling you the sacrifices of having a dog. Now you might think that having a dog is, is just a, having a companion and there's not much to do there. But actually you'll have to do many sacrifices to um, get your little puppy. So I wanted to get you guys ready um, uh, to get a dog. So I've made a Google Doc over here. I'll uh, I'll put the link of this below in the um, in the comments. So the in my list, the first thing is um, of course the title is sacrifices of having a dog. The first thing is that a dog takes up a lot of time and effort. You have to take time out of your day to feed them. You have to take effort to walk them and sometimes you even have to clean them. You have to walk a dog three times a day, each walk for about 10 minutes or for more. So um, it, it is not just like you get a companion and that's it. You have to feed it, walk it, and it, uh, and you have to make sure you have uh, the area you need for the dog to walk or run or a lawn for them to play in and a lot of stuff. And you need to make sure you have enough money to take care of them. So um, if you have a guard dog and it hears a little noise, it will start barking as loud as it can. And when dogs bark too much, there's a risk of your neighbor calling animal control on your dog, causing it to end up in the shelter. So some dogs um, end up in a shelter because they bark too much and it's a very low chance for them to get adopted again. So you've got to make sure of that. So training is really important. You have to also get... Um, uh, some time for uh, your own time. You have to also give your own time to your dog to train them. And um, you have to make sure that the training is going from the very beginning to the very end. So that's important. And the last sacrifice you will have to make while owning a dog is that you will have to be able to cope with the sadness you get when a dog dies. All through, while the dog is alive, it acts like your best friend, gives you company, and gives you endless love. Eventually, it will pass away. When your dog passes away, it's like your best friend passing away. So, in the end, it is up to you to determine whether or not you want, uh, you want to sacrifice all of these things for a dog. I personally think that dogs are definitely worth it because they help you through uh, tough times, give you comfort, and you, uh, you get endless love from the dog. I think everyone should try getting a dog once in their life so they can understand why people love dogs. And that was the end of uh, my thing, but I also I wanted to tell you where I got this information. Uh, for the bibliography. I got this from da Daily Dolphin. I just got it from Daily Dolphin because I have the link over there. So the information is by Daily Dolphin. If you want to search it, I'll put the um, link to this down below in the comments as well. So this was just a little heads up for you to get um, for getting a dog. So you do not think that it's just one work and you don't have to do anything else. So I also wanted to talk about how you have to give away your day for the dog. So if you are still in college or you you have um, you have to go to work somewhere uh, every day and as I've said in here I love golden retrievers so mostly in my videos I'd be talking about golden retrievers. So I am going to be talking golden retrievers but so, um, now, you should never leave a dog in a car because the temperature in a car can go very high, even when it's cool outside or you put the car in shade. Never leave your dog in the car. That was something I wanted to say to you guys. And also, leaving a dog in the house for more than two hours of a little puppy, more than two hours is not so well. 
So if you have a, like work, so you could come back every two hours or have a um, babysitter come or like a puppy sitter, I don't know. Um, someone you, who you trust can come and um, play with the dog or take care of it the whole day. Um, and there is, you have to make sure you're walking the dog regularly if you live in a apartment and like me and have a big or wanting to get a big dog so like I'm wanting to get a golden retriever I I know I'm, n I'm not gonna have so much time and my parents are not so ready for it and uh, my sister is just too little for it so I'm I, I won't get a dog right now so and of course it's a big dog we need space around the house and we uh, we've got to puppy proof the house I'll be putting videos about puppy proofing and a lot of stuff down um, so you know everything from the start to end. And yes, my videos are never sponsored, but I love to have them sponsored. Um, but yeah, my videos are not sponsored. I make them at my house. Anyway, so yeah, and I... I also want to tell you guys that um, having a dog is like having going into a whole new land of doggy, um, of you going with your doggy, your pet, your pooch, your little squishy thing, um, fluffy ball, and it's a new thing. Even though I talked about sacrifices, there are a lot of beautiful things you can do with your dog, and you maybe your dog can go in a dog show i don't know you can train your dog to go in dog shows um you can go in agility now if you don't um have a if you still live in an apartment with a big dog and you have time you should better uh you you should you better should get them in some agility or some diving or something so they get their um their heart pumping and muscles moving and everything um, and uh, so some kind of agility would be really good for your pet if that's the case. Um, and I also recommend going, getting, like kibble is pretty boring food. So I recommend getting fresh beef, like fresh, um, fresh meat, like raw meat for your dog. It is really good for them. And um, it when the when dogs weren't house pets, they were first, oh, like wolves, or um, they just ran around in the wild. What did they eat? Well, they probably ate raw meat because they had to kill animals to eat them, right? Or else, how can they survive? So I think that raw meat is really good for dogs. Um, and there's a lot of things you can do for your dog, getting them. Uh, rope toys is very well. I also wanted to read you a list that I had on my last video. I think on my last video I gave the the um, the link down below. So I I wanted to tell you um, the things you would need for your dog. So the um, I have three categories. First is important category, and then toys category, and then bonus. Um, just to help. So, um, list, uh, first thing you would need is a leash, um, a harness, a harness if you have a pulling dog, you know, uh, puppies that don't know how to walk perfectly, they would pull and that could choke them with a collar. So it's always good to have a harness, um, to them. A collar, of course you would need a collar and a harness because the collar will have your ID or if you want to just have a harness and put your ID on there. That's also good. Um, a crate, a crate or a bed is awesome, but I, I like, I would like to have both. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but <laughs> like the doggy bed, um, is just an open space for your dog. I recommend a doggy bed if you have a real, um, bedroom for your dog to have a doggy bed. So I'd really recommend crates, even though they look like cages, they're actually not. You can actually make them Disneyland for your dog. You can actually make them the beautifulest place, and I'll talk how in my next video. 
So uh, you need leash, harness, collar, crate, or bed, baby gates if you don't want your dog getting into things you don't want them to. <laughs> like in the kitchen if you don't want your dog to go in there and grab stuff. So in the kitchen, baby gates will be awesome. Or in your bedroom if you don't want them to come in or I don't know. Car harness is really important or else your dog in an accident might get severely injured and uh, that is not cool. <laughs> Treats, of course, for treating, and food and water bowls, very important. You can, um, there also, there is also, um, water, a little water bowls that you can, or food bowls you can put, uh, stick into their crate, so they think that in this crate, it's so awesome because I get food in this crate and stuff. Outside, I, I know I just get play, but, so you always want to make your crate Disneyland for your dog. So food and water bowls, food, nail clippers, brush, of course, brushes. I'd recommend slicker brushes if you, um, they're kind of like penny stuff, pens. Um, they're actually really good for double-coated dogs, so I really recommend um, them. So nail clippers, brush, puppy shampoo, and conditioner, and you also want to get them um, some way how that when they lick, like, of course, if you don't have a dog, you won't know this, but if you do, you know that after putting shampoo or conditioner on your dog and really smudging it, they start licking. So that's not really good if it's, if it's poisonous, I mean, right? So you always want to get um, something that is non-toxic to your dog. Um, you want pee cleaners, of course, if pee gets in your um, carpet. I really recommend if you live in America, I really recommend you guys to have a pup box. If you have a puppy or a bark box, they are not sponsored. I've just seen them in in a video uh, in a for a dog train, a trainer called Zach George, and I think I really like them. So, um, and also, if you want to get your dog trained, and you don't want to like waste your um, like you don't know you don't want to get them in a puppy. Um, like puppy training place so you can watch videos from Jack, Zach George or if you have an aggressive dog or is like is biting or something you can go to Victoria Stilwell so um there's pee cleaners poop bags and the, um for your toys now I'm in the toy category you always want to have a chew toy a plush toy a dental toy which cleans your dog's teeth and a tug toy which really gets their energy out. So, and and the tug can also help you with um, fetch, uh, uh, teaching your dog fetch. So, yeah. Bonus is paw wipes if they get out and then get out and it's muddy outside and they get all this mud on their feet. You always want paw wipes. And food storage containers if you have a lot of food and you don't have containers to put it in, it's always important to have a food storage container, but you don't need it. Exercise pen, I would recommend it, but you may need it. You may need it. That's why I have it, um, like, circled and had, may need it, I put that. And a toothbrush, you need to have one. <laughs> or else, how are you supposed to brush your teeth? But I said, may need it. You may need it. <laughs> so... That was it for this video, and if you want shout-outs from me, um, you can uh, go down in the comments and so and write down, um, we love dogs. Yeah, hashtag we love dogs, and I will give you a shout-out. So that was it for this video. And if you want to keep encouraging me for more videos and my more playlists, please hit the subscribe button, smash that like button, and comment down below for any questions or any other topics you want me to make videos for dogs on. So, um, that was it for this video, but till the next video, I would say bye!